was Cetacea we saw, wasn't it? Flying toward the Dark Star. I suppose that means she really was the key to breaking through to the Dark One. But what exactly do we need to do to dress her up like the old heroes did? In another pickle, are we? Huh? Where did you spring from? If you're looking to give Cetacea a little more oomph, you'll be needing the help of the sage, Serenica. But to do that, you'll need to find her, of course, which will require another memory. Another one? But we've visited all the seedlings. Come a little closer, would you, Veronica, dear? My eyes aren't what they used to be. Huh? Hmm. Yes. You're not quite as you should be, are you? Wh why does that matter? Here. Pop this on for me. Sister, over here, will you? As I'm sure you're well aware, your destiny is to guide the luminary. When the two of you get together and pray with all your hearts, well, then miracles can happen. But this wasn't possible with Veronica in her reduced state. Who are you? Who are you really? Now, are you ready to fulfill your destinies? I'll need you to pray like you've never prayed before. Can you do that for me? Hmm. What could this mean? Uh, I think it means they've turned into a tree? Come closer, Luminary. The tree has something to show you. Mm. 
Morkant, wherefore wouldst thou? Of all the low down. <sighs> Betrayed by the very man he trusted most. That's how the luminary of legend died? The poor thing. The tree is still glowing, I see. I rather think it might have more to show you. No weapon save the Sword of Light may end the Dark One's life. Cannot be used. No luminary now. Only he may wield. Thus cannot kill, but can imprison. Serenica. Lend me thy powers, that I might bind him and banish him forever! <sighs> the future hold for thee. The sword of light belongeth with the world tree. I mean to bear it thence. Thereafter, I shall venture forth upon a quest. I shall seek him out. I shall find him. Be reunited with thee. I swear it. What 
I might have seen thy face but once more before I passed. So sad. So Erdwin's lantern was no star, nor was it the luminary's final resting place. You've done as you were meant to do, girls. You've given the Luminary the guidance he needed. We saw it too. We saw what happened to Serenica. What she became. She's still there, you know. Up in that tower. And she still holds the key to defeating the Dark One. How come you know about all this stuff, anyhow? Didn't it all happen centuries ago? How indeed, my inquisitive young friend. Perhaps I had better show you. Huh? <gasps> what? You? Yes, me. Morkant, Erdwin's erstwhile companion. There was a voice, you see. A voice inside my head. As Erdwin raised his sword to smite the Dark One, it spoke to me. Strike him down, it said. Kill him, and I will grant you power beyond your wildest dreams. I tried to close my heart to those intoxicating words, but before I knew what was happening, my friend lay at my feet. The Dark One's power filled me, corrupted me, poisoned my mind. I became Mordigan. But even then, a part of me held out against the darkness. In time, it took on its own form, and that is who stands before you now. Now Mordekin is defeated, and so I too must fade. But I have one last prophecy for you before I go. The Timekeeper awaits you, Luminary, in a place north of the World Tree. The power of the Watchers will take you there. Now, go and give the Dark One our hiding, and bring this story to an end at last. There he goes. I guess we'd better get moving, huh? Sounds like we need to go see the Watchers. <laughs> <laughs>